Yet again, welcome to Airbros Review SA. We've got another review on a gun. Just showing you what you get in the boxes, doing a grouping, and that's that. So yeah, let's go ahead. We've got the Hudson. We've got numerous makes and models of Hudson now in an in store. Go have a look at our website, you can check them. But today on our video, we've got the Hudson Bull Boss in the wood in stock. So have a look at this. So upon opening it up, you'll see numerous little thingies. You've got a lacquer manual in the inside here. It doesn't say in, in English, you know, it doesn't, it seems like it's got some other languages here. But, like they say, I want to quickly read to you. This one's total length, it's the barrel length is 23 inches, which is 585 millimeters. The total length is going to be 935 millimeters. The weight of it, it is coming in at 4.3 kilograms. And the maximum pressure that you charge this bottle up is going to be around about 200 bar. Shoot it down to 100 bar like most of the air guns do. And uh, you will get, they say, you claim about 40 shots per full on this CC tank. Um, upon taking it out of the box, it does feel quite light and balanced. Um, it really looks quite cool. It looks different than all the other PCPs. Uh, it's got uh, these plastic... Um, Picatinny rails here at the sides and at the bottom so you can put on a bipod and then if you have a look at that you've got your sling with it that can attach to the bottom right here so you can either throw it over your back or just hold it over your shoulder and then keep it in the right position for shooting so having a look at the top here you've got a Picatinny rail as well plus with a dovetail rail so it doesn't matter which scope mount you've got you can put them on this gun so you can have best of both worlds um, if you have a look at it it's got a biathlon side cocking lever it's quite nice it's really it's it's like right here by your fingers it's got a very long throw lever if you have a look at that so it makes it easy to cock nice and smooth um, then it's got a magazine locker here we'll show you how that works in just a bit so this is how you would load it have a look it's got like a cutaway this side and it's a flat base so make sure you load it in from this side because the magazine can only fit in one way into your gun make sure you put it all the way in you'll see that o-ring will fit in between your skirt and your pellet head so it will hold it in place so yeah just put in the remaining 10 and then show you how easy it is to put it in the gun. Look at that. There we go. So what you'll have to do, see there's like a little lever there, just pull it up, cock your rifle backwards, push it in, you'll see it will only go in one way, you can't put it in any other way because it's got this little notch, I don't know if you can see it there on the top, and it's got a locating hole right there so you won't be able to put it in any other way and then just push it in let go of this one and then that's it and all you do is go forward with the bolt and there you go uh, it's quite that's how Hudson's really work uh, it's got a cheek piece riser right over here so if you push that little button there look at that so you can adjust it depending on what scope mount you've got on there you can adjust your cheek weld to your eye relief wherever you want it to be. If you have a look at the bottom, it's got cutaways of the screws that are inside here. So that's going to be for your setting of your um, trigger here because it's got a trigger running all the way to the back by the hammer. Uh, it's got a rubber butt pad. It's very soft. It's quite nice. So if you put this one into your shoulder, it's a very nice, neat one. It grips onto your shoulder, meaning it's like that rubber like anti-slip type thing so that's also quite a nice thing that I've noticed and then if you go a little bit more forward like here it's got a integrated silencer on the whole shroud so you can't screw off or anything so it's called a QE so it says quiet energy so this thing should be quite quiet so we'll hear what it will sound like just now in the video um, I've noticed while cocking this if you have a look at this safety it's automatically put on so you don't have any dry fires or misfires or whatever you do so before you shoot just move it forward 
fire. Every single time you're going to have to do that. Let's see. Then to decock it, you can't decock it because the safety comes on. So that is just the only one thing that I've noticed. So if you want to decock it, obviously no pellets in. Just take a fire, take a shot, I mean. Um, this Bull Boss really looks apart if you have a look at it. It's got a nice grip that you can hold onto it. So you can either have it like, you know, round grip like this with your thumb that side, or you can shoot with your thumb this way like the new cool kids do you know have the thumb up and then they fire like that so it's up to you the way you want to shoot and the way the, the way it is most comfortable for you guys so it does come with a um, full port that you have to put in here and it does cap to close it up and then there's its manometer its gauge to show you the full pressure so this gun so far i know it's not regulated Let's just open up this little box that it comes with. It's got a degassing tool inside there. So if you want to take off the tank and empty it, degas it. But yeah, we'll get to you on that one just in a bit. So have a look at this. It's got a full probe. It's got a lot of O-rings. It's got a doughty washer. It's got a whole lot of full probe O-rings. So it's got a whole lot of O-rings in there, definitely. So have a look at this. It's a Hudson, a little Allen key. So it is probably here to set your trigger if you want to but trust me out of the box this thing is pretty decent um like i fired it right now and then yeah they've got their plastic bipods which is just release it with this one button boom that's how it works so that's pretty cool so you can add your own bipod on whichever one you need so or you can keep this one this one's pretty cool then you only get one magazine in this gun so it's a rotary style magazine it's got an o-ring on the outside to keep in your pellets so we're going to shoot pellets today not slugs and yeah we're going to see how it performs down at 50 meters and um, shoot some targets there and see a grouping a five shot grouping so we'll see in a bit nice thing about this it's got a double anti-loading system quite nice and neat yeah at 50 meters we've got this gun with the we're going to shoot it with the 18 grain jsbs um you'll see the speeds there now you do get about 40 shots um per fill and um, from 200 to 100 bar and it does have a um 230 cc cylinder and um one thing i didn't say and mention was that um it i was i was contemplating if it has got a regulator or not But um, you'll see with the, uh, <laughs> it's got pretty, pretty decent um, speeds, consistency. So it doesn't have a regulator inside, but you can optionally buy an extra regulator, which I don't think you need. So guys, this gun is pretty decent. 900. Especially with the 81. accuracy that you can get out of it. Um, it's phenomenal really it's pretty good so to my understanding um, this Hudson is made in Turkey and it's a really good gun so guys this thing is pretty decent so yeah um, I just got uh, waggy tails down there I'm just waiting for it to move out the way and then I can have a safe shot there so let me just wait Nine hundred thirty-seven. Nine hundred sixty-seven. So nine hundred sixty-seven. The eighteen grains is really flinging it. Nine hundred sixty-three. And. Uh, I think that was a five shot grouping right there. So let's go have a look at it downrange. And yeah, pretty, pretty promising. So yeah, at the site where I was shooting at. So my aim point was right in the middle there. I had one, two, three, four, five. So there's five shots right here. Um, that covers it by my thumb. This gun is pretty accurate. Um, yeah, 
I was just a little bit distracted with other things here now, but obviously have a look at that grouping. That grouping is not bad. Um, this Hudson and the price that you're coming at, um, pretty, pretty, pretty decent, like I say. Uh, it really does load quite nice. My final thoughts on this gun, would I buy it for myself? Yes, I would definitely do it like that if I need to come and get something that's accurate with the JSB 18 grains. It's a short pull up. It's got a silencer on it. You've got your magazine. Everything is with it. Um, obviously, you have to put on a scope on it and sight it in and you go have fun. I mean, it's good for pesting out in a short wilderness if you want to go walk around and shoot some um, pests like pigeons that we do and then India miners at your house or whatever. Uh, yeah, so it, it will do the job, definitely. Uh, it's slinging those pellets pretty fast. 970 feet per second, that is darn good. Uh, you can bring it down. I mean, if you shoot it with the 25.39 JSBs, it will bring it down to 860 feet per second, around about there, and I think that will be the sweet spot for this thing. You will have a lot of power and energy to knock down a bit bigger than like your furry friends, um, like the Dussies and so on here in South Africa. Uh, yeah, so guys, really, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, share it to all your friends, and yeah, we'll take it through um, other numerous guns to follow on my channel, so you can check all the videos that we've been doing um, on different guns. I mean, we've got not just the same thing, we've got different things, and um, yeah, look, look at that. It was pretty cool. I loved it. I hope you guys loved it, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers, guys. Bye. Peace.